So for a millennia now, mankind and GTA fans have wondered, is GTA 6 ever gonna go woke? Is Rockstar going woke right now? Guys, with this one, you gotta clench your butt cheeks, put your seat belts on, because the ride tonight is gonna get a little bit bumpy, especially when we get down to the main event. Yay, we got a main event. We got a video that I want to show you. Like the video if you do not want GTA 6 being woke. Dislike the video if you want Lucia to turn out to be a man and Jason to be a female, <laughs> like presented in this picture. Somebody actually ended up making this picture man like people are genuinely worried and when i show you this right so this is the before of pokemon this is apparently happening right now this is this is the before of pokemon and now they have turned her into a man <laughs> this is happening under god's hot set this is dead ass happening so they have turned a female into a man strong empowering stunning and brave and somebody even uh, went as far as to put like ideal human male proportions Bruh. And guess what? It's a perfect match. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a perfect match. So with that information in mind, let's get down to business. Let's see what's happening. Faster your seatbelts. Roll it. When referring to GTA 6, a lot of people are throwing around the word woke as yeah. a summary for the direction in which they believe Rockstar is taking the game. Yeah, and the word woke is uh, used to be considered, was, was considered actually a good thing. It, it meant that you were awake of the surroundings, but now it means completely different though. Oh. Yay. And now it's good to be awake of the walk stuff that's going on, guys. But get ready for the climax there. Star Games have been no strangers to controversy. At their very core, they are an offensive video games creator. In this video, we're not going to say whether they are right or wrong in doing so. It's just pointing out the facts. Striking offense in the games isn't a focus, but trailing the line of controversial topics is a methodology that Rockstar have used over the years to convey points, whether it be social mockery or whether it be schoolboy humor. Either way, Rockstar have been accused of every social sin under the sun now there's oh, three yeah. things in oh, life yeah. that are guaranteed death, death. taxes and, and people woke. saying that Rockstar games are gonna go woke. <laughs> Upon the announcement of GTA yeah. 6, we've seen a shift in perspective from a lot of Rockstar I, games. I mean, can you even blame people for assuming that it's gonna go woke? Uh, and guys, I will link you this video in just a little bit, which I did uh, almost a month ago, right? In this video, you're gonna clearly see the type of stuff that Rockstar j did recently, the type of stuff that they actually removed. I mean, they even changed the shorty to like a man as well, which is just wild, absolutely wild. So they took an existing character character and let's change them around change them around right absolutely wild stuff bro fans there seems to be a general consensus that rockstar will pull their punches for gta 6 whether that be from how the media has reported them toning down their frat boy humor or dan Hauser stating how he was glad gta 6 wasn't being released in 2018 because both the far left and far right were both very angry and militant or whether it's just a cognitive link that people have made because the world is now a very different place compared to where we were at even 10 years ago but one true, thing has stood true, out to me the most as one of the core reasons people are calling Rockstar Games Walk. Whoa. And that's Lucia. Now there's a core association with Rockstar and male lead characters. There are a lot of synonymous acts that we can commit in previous GTA games that make sense in the context of being male. Damn, for 50, 70, 100, that's a lot of paper though. Right or wrong, these are associated with male behaviors. However, if we can learn anything from Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstars are masters at storytelling, True. and a good story True. should never limit the characters. Rockstar True. introducing Lucia is not an attempt to appeal to a different market sector. It's an attempt to tell a more complicated story of yeah and, and i would also like to like expand on this because i remember when they introduced lucia right when they revealed the fact that we're gonna be getting like a strong i, I mean they never said that but i hope it's not strong empowering stunning brave independent if that happens yeah sure we we can and you can perhaps say that gta 6 is woke but just simply having a female character in the game that's not woke it would be woke if it turns out that Jason is her pet, Bruh. right? If Jason is emasculated, if Jason <laughs> is uh, strong, empowering, and if it turns out like that, yeah, sure, then you can go ahead and say it, it's woke. If uh, 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 Lucia turns out to be uh, playing like a manly character and Jason turns out to be a feminine character, then yeah, I, I understand that. But if it turns out that Jason is strong, male character, and if Lucia is a strong female character, that's perfectly fine though, you, you feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be a little bit different and we're gonna see like 
the the different perspective and for that you, you know what i'm actually quite excited and intrigued as to what's gonna happen now obviously people are worried about it right and if you are worried about it i don't blame you because how many times we have seen our franchises uh our favorite beloved franchises be destroyed whether it's like movies comics right now this crap is coming to gaming as well and the thing that i've noticed is that guys like listen in gaming the younger folks don't care it's not that they don't care it's just that when you're that young you don't even know what's going on and can you even blame them the, the, and they know that they, these companies know know that because who plays games the most younger folks it doesn't mean that you and i don't play but it's just that the younger folks are the ones that can be easily manipulated and this is uh, social engineering simple as that they are trying to uh and the main reason they they could have made a new character you, you feel what I'm saying? Why did they chose to turn like an already made character into this? And people are not liking it. You can see the hips, you can see the chest. The chest has been flat, uh, flattened a little bit. The stomach, the color, uh, and on top, like standing like a man, <laughs> like like a box like that, right? So obviously, clearly, that they are they're trying to social engineer. Most people that play games are younger folks. Okay, it's not us, right? And, and guess who is the loudest right now? Guess who has the most amount of problem? Uh, thank you for subscribing subscribing people like you and I or people around my age right because we understand what's going on like we cannot simply buy into the fact that the grass is blue Bruh. or the sky is green nah bro people are waking up right now a lot of people are waking up and we're seeing the agenda that's being pushed uh, down everybody's throats right now so if you're a younger lad that don't know what's going on I, I, I understand that, right? The younger dudes are gonna buy the game. Can you even blame the younger folks? Nah, bro, like, it's just a game, right? People, why do people wanna play the games? Why do I wanna? Why do you wanna play the game? You simply wanna escape. You wanna chill out and you just wanna relax, right? Because life is as crazy as, uh, it is crazy out there, right? It, it sucks out there sometimes, or for some people, it sucks all the time, which is just uh, genuinely sad. But if they uh, go as far as to just push this crap down then yeah i would say it's woke but other than that uh love dynamic between jason and lucia and of course as we know there's definitely some bonnie and clyde inspirations built within the narrative for the game being able to show complex characters with complex stories is not rockstar going Whoa. It's them showcasing a yeah, mastery that, of storytelling. Yeah. Love is not an area that Rockstar have been able to document previously, whether it be to non-convincing facial expressions from previous GTA games, or whether it be simply down to them having other ideas at the time. But regardless, now is a great time for Rockstar to tackle this topic. However, with all of this being said, Rockstar is not immune to social consequences. They would definitely have to replace punchlines in GTA 6 to avoid causing offence. Before you comment, uh -oh. I can see you right now commenting. Uh -oh. Before you comment, Hear me out. Rockstar is owned by Take-Two Interactive, which is owned by investors such as BlackRock, JP oh, Morgan. No. Oh no! Yo! And, and you know what? I, I gotta let you know this straight away, right? BlackRock, I was hearing numbers. They apparently, they are also behind the DEI, diversity, equity, inclusivity. They are behind like the woke stuff as well, big time, okay? And, and you wanna know how much money they have? Guys, clench your butt cheeks, stop rolling your fat doobies around, okay? Like, sit down for this one. You're, you're, you're gonna get... <laughs> I don't want you falling down, okay? So sit down. They have... <laughs> plus dollars. Oh, shit. Oh, okay? Shit. They are projecting GTA 6. How much money you think GTA 6 is gonna make in the first year? Based on the sales, fiscal sales, and digital sales alone. Not counting in microtransactions. Just take a guess. Take a wild guess, right? Three, two, one. You can pause the video if you want to, but... They are projecting three to four billion dollars. A lot of money. A lot of money. That's absolutely insane. But guess what? Activision makes it in in a quarter. <laughs> Based on, I'm not even capping. These are numbers that are officially reported by Activision. They make $3 to $4 billion just based off of micro transactions alone. Now, Rockstar, surely they're going to make a lot more with the GTA 6 online micro transactions and GTA Plus, 110%. But I'm just talking about the sales. So, 3 to $4 billion, insane numbers, okay? Call of Duty don't necessarily do that with every release. They do make a billion easy, but 3 to $4 billion in the long run, yeah, they would. But GTA 6 is apparently projected to make... Make that in a single year alone insane number but three to four billion versus blackrock <laughs> sure it's an investor investment firm they're not gonna be investing all of that in just like one company uh and that being take two they're not gonna do that but still just to kind of like give you context and they're big time behind dei enforcing this so they, they got money bro they got money uh, so if you boycott 
you boycott, uh, and I can respect that. If it, if it happens to be woke, I hope it's not woke, bro. I didn't wait <laughs> 10 plus years for this game to go woke, okay? I hope it's not to that degree, but to what degree? Let's Chase talk. and Co, amongst many others. These investor firms have thousands of shareholders that pull their money into them. But John Smith over here, an investor, may have no idea where his investment is going. He may not even know what GTA is. Most of these investors, due to the large amount of wealth, are generally quite a bit older. So we may not know what GTA is, he may not know who Tech2 are, but he's entrusting his investment portfolio manager, for example, someone at BlackRock, to put his money into stocks that will make money over time. Now, these investment firms themselves will know about Take Two, Rockstar, and Grand Theft Auto, etc. If we listen to some of Take Two Interactive's earnings calls, we can actually hear these investor portfolio managers asking Take Two questions about future releases, etc. However, if Rockstar do something too controversial with GTA 6, and media outlets pick up on it, and start running Take Two stock price into the ground, investors will have to make a decision on whether to pull their investment into to take two. Not because they really care about what Rockstar did, they can just see the share price coming down, that's bad, and they need to protect John Smith over here. The truth yeah. is, it's not that deep. Rockstar don't care about being socially conscious because they care about social issues. They just know that they can't make waves. Want some proof? In 2020, Rockstar came into fire from a few media outlets yeah. for the representation of trans characters. take Two share price dropped by 10% overnight due to investors pulling the plug. Over the past few years, we've seen the Confederate flag being removed from yeah, GTA 5. Yep. And of course, missions were cut from the original game. So and they also like uh, removed some voice lines as well. I will link you this video because uh, this is, uh, yeah, a lot of people are believing it's going to go walk but uh wait for it which is a mission where trevor and michael pretended to be a gay couple so holy a rock star going woke holy no i take two going woke <laughs> No. But is the world more militant Hopefully, about man. what jokes can be told and what media outlets were picked? Guys, uh, take your take your right hand, take your left hand, put it together, and let's send a prayer out. Hopefully, GTA 6 is not going to be woke, okay? Let's hope it's not going to be woke, but guess what? It's going to be a little bit woke, let's Bruh. be real. It's going to be a little bit woke. To what degree? I, I think they're not going to be too crazy. They're not going to be too outlandish. But are they going to be woke to the point where they're going to be pushing agendas now? That I cannot guarantee. That I that nobody can tell you right now. We have to wait for the game, and that's like the main part why a lot of people are worried. And that's the main that's the main part that people don't want. People don't want to be told that the grass is blue because it's not. The grass is green. Okay, they don't want to be told all that all that woke stuff that's uh, going on. Right? I want to know your take here. And this is that video that I was just talking about. Click on this video on the screen, screen, and, and you're gonna see what they removed, what they changed, and why are people saying it's gonna go woke? Check it out on the left. That video is on my second channel, and guys, I'll see you right there.